Earl. All right. Hey, everybody. Marine Tech Matt here. Uh, this is this is tech tip number 37, adjusting your tachometer. Uh, many of us on these older boats still have mechanically, uh, me mechanically controlled diesel engines. And on those types of engines, um, we're pretty much always getting our tack signal off of our alternators from the stator signal off the alternator. Um, any modern diesel engines are all gonna be electronically controlled and we're just using a magnetic pickup <coughs> crankshaft position sensor essentially, which gives us a perfect accurate digital signal. Uh, much like with a gas engine, we're just pulling right off an ignition coil and getting our signal. Um, but with older mechanically governed engines, uh, we're pretty much always getting them off alternators and we get a lot of variation in what we're reading on tachometers. And it's a really common thing uh, to see that we have um, a discrepancy between the actual engine RPM and what we're reading on the tachometers. So either because the tachometer was never originally adjusted right or what lots of folks are doing these days is adding on a high output alternator because like Mike on the Black Pearl here, they have high energy needs. So they have these giant banks that they're using a ton of energy. They need the high output alternator. So they buy a kit with a new pulley size serpentine belt. And when we change the size of our alternator pulley, we're changing that ratio of how fast it's going to turn relative to the crankshaft of the engine. So when that happens, we have to make the corresponding adjustment on our tachometer. Um, so in this situation, uh, Mike had some students put on a high output alternator, serpentine pulley, the whole nine yards, um, works great, loving, loving the high output, but notice that the tachometer is reading high, like considerably high. Like when he was out cruising, he was doing 36 or 3700 RPMs and this thing's governed at a max of 3200. So we know it's high. Um, so the first step is to confirm what our actual RPM is. So to do that, we just are going to go down to the engine room uh, using one of these little photo tachometers like that one. Um, these always come with little, oh, I got one in here somewhere, reflective tape like so. So you just cut a little square of this, it's got sticky back on it, and you're going to put that on your crankshaft pulley. So really important that you find your crankshaft pulley on pretty much any engine. It's going to be the middle lower pulley. So stick the piece of tape on that pulley and then crank up the engine, rev it up, try to go mid range RPM, you know, 1500, 2000, something like that, and get a good reading on what you're actually at. So we're gonna figure out what, what RPM we're at in reality. And then we're gonna look at our tachometer um, and pull it out and using a little tiny screwdriver like this little flathead here, um, we're just going to adjust the little um, dial on the back of it. And what that's going to do is, is bring us to where we need to be. So quite a simple process, um, really takes very little amount of tools, uh, but important. And a lot of folks will realize that their tachometers aren't quite right. And we hear this all the time from, from boat owners. Hey, I'm just not actually, I'm not able to reach my cruising RPM. And that can be for a number of reasons, but the first thing to confirm before buying new props or hiring divers to put wax on the bottom of your boat or whatever, um, is check to see what your actual speed is, your actual engine RPMs are. So that's what we're going to do here. We know we're off. So we're going to go through the process and then show you how to adjust on your tachometer. Um, different tachometers themselves may have a few different steps, but more or less, it's all kind of the same process. So let's go check it out. Read the manufacturer's instructions. Always. And, and as we always say, please refer first to manufacturer's recommendations and instructions. So let's fire this thing. Fire up. this beast up. All right. So we are showing pretty, pretty clearly about 2200 RPMs down in the engine room. Um, reading 2600 up here on the tachometer. So as expected, we're reading high, uh, about 400 RPMs. So um, now what we're going to do is just adjust it in the proper direction to bring it back down. Well, that's a little too high, wrong direction. And coming back down, beautiful. 2200 RPMs. All right, so piece of cake, easy peasy. Um, full disclosure, in the real world, uh, you're likely gonna be crawling behind whatever your axis is to get to your gauges. Um, in this case, Mike had already pulled the bracket off the back of the tachometer, so we were able to just pull it out like that. Um, for you, you're gonna be going and doing a little digging, and um, it's 
it's often easiest if you have somebody watching the tack while you're making the adjustment from the backside. Um, but the process is all the same. Um, not a lot to it, but definitely go check your, your actual engine speed and adjust your tack accordingly. So that's it for Tech Tip 37. Have a good one.